Welcome to Thought for January the 20th. Our readings are taken from Genesis 34 and 35, Psalm 37 and Matthew 22. And our thought is, be not envious of. The world today puts a great lot of effort and money into marketing goods and services. The internet, radio, TV, magazines... Uh, newspapers and signboards are full of promotions of one kind of thing or another. A fundamental aim of the majority of this promotion is to make us envious of what other people have or experience. The aim is to make us want it ourselves. Now David's psalm, Psalm 37 today, is very special. It is full of spiritual advice to those who aim to live in a godly way in contrast to the attitudes in our world of 2021. David says, I have been young and now I am old. So these are words of reflection at the latter end of his life. He starts by saying in verse 1, Be not envious of wrongdoers, because they, like the grass, have no future. In another psalm we read, I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Psalm 73, verse 3. So David had to learn the right attitudes in his life's experience, like we do. But it is not just a matter of avoiding doing wrong, or not being envious of the successful. Note what David also says in today's psalm. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way. Verse 7. It is a real challenge to be still in the sense that it is meant here. In a world that is so active in experiencing and doing everything possible, it is a hyperactive society today. How much are you being swept along by it? Is it affecting you subconsciously? The awareness the Lord gave David leads him to a time when he, when the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundance of peace. Our Lord Jesus repeats this and applies it to the inheriting of the entire earth in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. We need this awareness if we are to effectively counteract temptations to take part in as much of this world's spirit of living without actually engaging in wrongdoing. David says, The Lord laughs or mocks, at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. Verse 13. Now note verse 30 and 31. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. An essential foundation for that kind of thinking and living is achieved today by those who regularly read the word of God and really think about what they read. May that include all who are listening to this. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.